Hi guys, how you doing? And welcome back to Crazy Bait. Today it's just me cooking at the moment. My mum may pop in and out of the video, but she's not currently here at the moment. Um, so yeah, today we're doing raspberry and apple crumble squares, um, or slices, however you want to call them. Um, I have all the ingredients set up. Um, so yeah, I'll get you guys on the tripod, I'll wash my hands, and we'll crack on with today's recipe. Hope you enjoy. Also, we do apologise for the lack of the videos. I know we do keep saying we're going to upload loads of videos, um, but to be honest, we just got carried away with doing the garden um, and grow. We've been obviously, you know, I love gardening, so does my mum. Um, so we've just been doing a lot of harvesting our crops that we've planted and stuff over the last couple of weeks, um, and obviously spending time with the kids because now the kids have gone back to school. So yeah, hopefully we can get back on track. Um, with the recipes and post more out there. I know my mum's got some to do as well, so yeah, there might be a few more hopefully as we go on. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoy this video. Let's crack on. Right <clears throat> now, for this part of the video, I'm I've actually already blanched some apple down this morning. Um, but I'll leave it how you do it in the rest in the description for the recipe anyway. Um, so that's one thing we haven't got to do. So next you've got 100 grams of margarine. You can use butter if you want, but we've got margarine, it's all we've got at the minute. Um, 175 grams of castor sugar, one egg. We have over here, I don't know if you can just see that. Over here we have 280 grams of sour raisin flour, 125 ml of milk, 200 grams of raspberries. So, and over this side, I'm going to bring it in, we have 85 grams of sour raisin flour, 50 grams of margarine, 100 grams of um, caster sugar. So, the next bit, what you'd do is you'd actually cut your, one, one cooking apple, um, you would cut it up and throw it into a saucepan with about two tablespoons of water and cook it down just you don't want to cook it no more than that really there's some big chunky bits in there um, but like I say we've already done blanched down some apples this morning because obviously they needed using so yeah so for the next part when you've done that is to actually make your crumble I'll just move you to a better place yeah, is to now make your crumble. So you need a bowl. And obviously you're going to put into your flour. Your sugar. What I like to do, I just like to give that a little mix. And into your margarine or your butter. Just so it represents like breadcrumbs. Sorry if you can't really see much. Just bring it together. Just so it's like a bread crummy. Sometimes get it in your hand and give it a mix up. Just so you get everything that gets a bit of butter in it or marge. Like so. And get it's meant to just look like that. Just like breadcrumbs. Just wash my hands. Now, 
What I need to do is actually pour this into a different bowl. Right now we've got a different bowl. What we're going to do is, is we're going to put your butter in now. Butter and your sugar and um, beat that together. I'm just going to get a wooden spoon. There's my wooden spoon. Here it is. Um, I'm just going to beat this together until it's nice and light and fluffy. Just cream it all together. May take a little while. Put the light on. Also, I preheated the oven. Oh, two minutes. Right, apologies for that. My phone was ringing. Yeah, so just going to cream this together. Try and get it all mixed in. I know this is the boring bit, you can skip this bit if you really want to. Um, but yeah, just gonna mix it in like that. And then what we're gonna do is add in your egg as well now get the egg straight in there and give that a mix doesn't look very nice but trust me it will be and just mix that in like so now and add in your flour, all of it. Just going to mix that, and then we add in our milk. And I'm going to add into my milk slightly, or all of it, should I say? and just mix it all in until obviously you get like this cake mix that's what you're looking for try and get mix it all in the best you can most of the oven's going to do the work anyway break any lumps down for you, then melt. Like so. Now, I'm gonna get a spoon. a spoon and then add our apple into the mix and I give all your apple a mix in with it as well
a lot of ingredients there. Hopefully it fits in this tray. And you're just gonna literally pour it all in. Sorry you can't see it, I'm actually doing this round the other way. Um a bit cat candy today. Just gonna pour it all into the dish. Okay. You know what? I might even put that in a bigger dish. may even put it into a bigger tray just because knowing my luck it's going to rise a little bit but um, knowing me just that other one looks a bit small this is a proper size I think worse than eating one of these squares and it's really thick just of paste, um, uh, cake mix. So there you go, that's better. It's in a bigger tray. I'll leave the measurements down to this newer tray now that I'm using. And then what we do is just gonna dot your, I'm trying to put the camera down a bit. Yeah, it was zoomed out as well. Um, just going to literally drop your raspberries over. You can use fresh raspberries. I'm actually using just frozen raspberries. Like so. Just make sure they're. Yeah, you know, evenly spread. Don't want someone complaining that they've got more raspberries than someone else. Nine times out of ten, when you cook, that actually happens. So, yeah, I'm just going to give them a little pat down. Don't actually have to do this. I just like to. I like to be a bit awkward. Like so. <clears throat> right, and then for your crumble, literally just going to put this straight over the top. Just sprinkle it all over the top of it. Like so. If you scoot, also if you're worried about cooking this, you don't know because the brown might, the top might go brown first. Um, if your skewer comes out clean, then it's done. So I'm going to get some oven gloves quickly. I'll check it. <clears throat> My oven is still on. <clears throat> Just lay my tea towel down there quickly. Oh. Okay, this is heavy. Right. Two hands, and I'm just going to literally stick this straight in here. We're using the top oven because we're having some problems with our bottom oven. So, yeah, that's going to go in there 45 minutes. 
Um, 45 minutes, gas mark 4, pre, ours is preheated so it might not take 45 minutes, it might be less. But yeah, see you in a bit. <clears throat> right, here you go. It's just come out the oven. <clears throat> it's boiling hot, so I'm not going to try it. Well, I can try actually, that bit there has fallen off the end, which should be cool now. And yeah, I've cut it, um, it is squidgy obviously because obviously the raspberries have melted. Um, it should take about half an hour to an hour to cool, um, but look at that. Lovely. Ooh. Lovely. Mmm. Mm. Get that crunch on top, obviously the crumble, the apple and the raspberries do really come through there. Obviously you can do it in a, a, a bigger tray if you wanted to, um, to make it thinner. Um, but yeah, tastes really nice, give it a go, send us over your pictures of doing it. Um, I am in my jacket at the minute. I've literally, while that was cooking, I was out in the garden doing some bits and pieces. Um, so yeah, hopefully my mum's going to do the next one, I'll get her to do the next one. Um, but if you enjoyed that video, please give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll catch you guys next time. Bye for now.